Bellis, I keep telling y'all that these women are becoming more and more desperate for help that is. And with more of you men backing out of dating, relationships, marriage, commitment, sex, parenthood, so many of these women are having a very difficult time with finding a way to finesse. But what makes things so much more interesting is the fact that a lot of these women swore up and down that they were done with you, right? They don't want anything to do with a man. We have the whole 4B movement going on and so on and so forth. And yet still, women are trying to drag the men into their own mess, into their own choices, decisions, lifestyles. And quite honestly, it's because, let's be clear you all, the men are the ones with resources. The men are the ones with the wealth. The men are the ones that are being more productive and having things to actually maintain them and sustain them more so than women right and it's not to say that women are not successful or we're not um making money or we're not being self-sufficient however let's just be honest you all a lot of us we're spending a lot more money than we're bringing in we can be very irresponsible and reckless with our money and on top of that we can be very fickle and emotional which would prompt a lot of us to maybe run away from um, sticking around in certain relationships or obligations or circumstances that we feel, you know, no longer serve us, which is one of the things that we will be discussing today. Now, here you all, we have a woman that opted out of dealing with men so much so that her and her partner which just so happened to be a female, right? Decided to start their own family together. And in the process of them starting their own family together, they decided to go and get a sperm donor, okay? Now, we all know that when it comes to um, men that donate their seed, right? Those men, once they go ahead and splash, um, they do have the right to dash and you do not have the right to ask bars where they are. You know, you don't have um, the right to track them down and, you know, try to find any kind of financial support from them or emotional support, mental support. You cannot under any circumstances go out to try to seek these men that are essentially doing you a favor, right? By donating their seed so that you can have your own family. That's the whole point. The whole point is for the men to donate their seed to you and your spouse so that you all can finally have the family that you wanted without other parties being involved in it. But here we are. Here we have this woman that made the conscious decision and choice to start her own family without a man, okay? She decided with her partner, which was a woman, okay? to go and find a sperm donor so they can have their family and live happily ever after without a third party being involved, without a man being in the mix and all of that. So why ma'am is the man still being blamed? Why is the man even a part of the conversation whatsoever? Why is the man being held responsible for a choice a grand decision, a great decision that not only you made, but the woman that you chose to be with. Why is the man still being held responsible, accountable, and ultimately blamed for your poor decision-making skills? And that goes back to what I said earlier, right? When I said that when it comes to us women, we can be very 
emotional, we can be very irrational, we can be very impulsive and even fickle when it comes to sticking around in certain uh, situations or sticking to certain responsibilities or obligations that we did sign up for. And this is a prime example of that being true and that being the case. You know, um, ladies, are we finding out the hard way that maybe just maybe dealing with each other can be a little bit worse than dealing with the men? Because let's be clear, you all, it's in a man's nature to be the more productive, providing, leading, protecting type of species, right? To where they will want to um, help things or help people and make sure that the family is being raised up properly and taking on the bulk of the load and responsibility. Men are naturally designed to be that way. Whereas women... Come on, you all. When we get bored with something or something becomes too much of a headache or a hassle or we just don't want to do it anymore, we're going to leave faster than the man. So, ugh. Ugh. And another huge elephant in the room outside of that is, you know, women, we need to start taking accountability for the people that we choose to be a part of our lives and the people that we choose to have these grand um, decisions with, right? Like, oftentimes we will blame the man. We'll say, well, the reason why I'm a single mother is because the man, men, men don't do this. Men don't do that. They just leave. They just do this. The men don't want to be masculine anymore. The men don't want to provide and protect anymore. And that's not the case. The issue is, ma'am, the men that we choose. I know y'all hate this, but we got to do it, okay? And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe, okay? The men that we choose are a particular type of men, right? We like and usually go after the guys that are irresponsible. The guys that are, you know, not going to help us. The men that would not be a part of a child's life or a part of your life that just wants to hit and quit. Like, we do go after those type more so than the productive, responsible, uh, disciplined, providing, protecting, leading, teaching men, you know? And so that's the issue. And to me, this illustrates the fact that we do need to choose better because we can't even choose the right women. Clearly, we need to do some self-reflecting and figuring out why is it that people, not men, but the people in general that we choose end up being irresponsible, flaky, disrespectful, not somebody that wants to be committed, not somebody that wants to take care of responsibilities. What is it about us that is not only attracting, but accepting those type into our lives? You know, and that's something that a lot of women need to start doing instead of blaming everything on the man why is it the man this why is the man that no figure out why is it the men that you choose the men that you go after women included clearly okay why is it the people that you choose to date to take seriously to settle down with start families with the whole nine why is it that they are that way could it be something within you that is that way? Could it be something within you that reflects that and attracts that and accepts that? But nonetheless, we got to get into this video, you all. But we did have to highlight that because that's very important. And hopefully you all take that as a gem and a jewel to, you know, apply to yourself and hopefully evolve and grow. But again, it's the men's fault, right? It's not your fault that you keep choosing wrong. It's the men because clearly look at what's happening yet still um anyway let's get into this video you all we have a woman here that is still holding men responsible for her own poor choices and actions along with the woman that she chose to be with that flaked on her and probably did her dirtier than a man would but we're gonna leave it over there um but let's just get into it okay 
why don't sperm donors have to pay child support? Back in 2018, I was artificially inseminated because I'm a lesbian and I want kids, right? So me and my girlfriend decided that we were going to go find a donor and have a kid that way. When we broke up, she said that she had no legal obligation to this child and she didn't want to be the parent anymore. Of course, I was like, whatever, that's fine. Uh, just give me, you know, some child support. And she said, did you not hear me? I have no legal obligation to this child. I'm not going to pay child support. So now I'm trying to get the sperm donor to pay child support because biologically he is my daughter's parent. So I want him to give me his half. I don't know what to do at this point. But I just think it's really messed up that somebody can just go donate sperm and then have nothing else to do with the kid. So let's take this back and break it down bit by bit. Okay. And again, y'all like the video share the video and subscribe why don't sperm donors have to pay child support back in 2018 i was artificially inseminated because i'm a lesbian and i want kids right so me so first things first that's a personal choice a personal life decision and so yeah that's not a man's fault that you are you know a lesbian and you want children so that's something that you decided to do on your own because we all know that, you know, when it comes to same-sex relationships, babies cannot be produced. Um, and that's just being factual, right? Uh, now, if you want to get into the whole, you know, trans man, trans woman, okay, but well, we're not going there. We're talking about biologically born men and biologically born women cannot come together and create children together okay um so that is your own choice and so if you decided as a woman of a particular lifestyle to go and start your own family and you want to do that by way of a donor that's not his fault and the reason why you know they're not going to be held responsible is because they're ultimately doing you a favor they're doing you a favor as far as providing you with the necessary baby batter that you need in order to create your own family without having, again, a third party involved. So, yeah, duh. But let's continue to break it down. Me and my girlfriend decided that we were going to go find a donor and have a kid that way. When we broke up, she said that she had no legal obligation to this child and she didn't want to be the parent and Now, I hate to go here, but I have to. She said when her and her girlfriend broke up after they made the huge decision, the major great decision, grand decision to start a family, she said that, look, I am not going to pay child support. I am not going to help you out whatsoever with this child. Pretty much, this is on you, okay? Now... Could one argue that she did you just the same way as a bottom of the barrel male would do you? You know, I mean, to be honest, at least a man would maybe chip in and maybe pay a little child support. But the woman that you're dealing with, she seems to be worse than a deadbeat. She went out of her way to go through this whole process with you. Right? To where I'm pretty sure you all were picking out certain men to qualify and all that. She went through all that with you just to say, yeah, I'm done with this. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm bored with this or this is way too much for me. And she dipped on you. She did all that. To me, that's worse. You know? Versus a man that may have just had a little oopsie daisy. Um, this woman went through a whole meticulous process of selecting and finding potential donors all for her to leave you high and dry. So again, ma'am, you can't blame the men for this one, but let's continue. Anymore. Of course, I was like, whatever, that's fine. Uh, just give me, you know, some child support. And she said, did you not hear me? I have no legal obligation to this child. I'm not going to pay child support. So now I'm trying to get the sperm donor to pay child support because biologically he is my daughter's parent. So I want him to give me his half. I don't know what to do at this point, but I just think it's really messed up that somebody can just go donate sperm and then have nothing else 
to do with the kids. I have no no more words. You know, I, I find this to be very problematic. Um, especially considering the fact that we're now holding men responsible for our own choices. You know what I mean? Like, in this instance, you can't say that the man was being irresponsible. Or you can't say that the man just hit it and quit. And the man just ditched you and abandoned you and the child. Like, that's not what happened. What happened was you made a terrible choice along with another woman. And you got what you got. You know... And can I go here, you all? And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I just got to be real. I find it a little bit baffling that she just allowed her partner to just get away like that. Whereas I'm pretty sure if that were a man, she would be fighting tooth and nail to hold her partner responsible as far as taking care of that child. But when it comes to this woman, she's like, oh, okay, well, you don't want to be held responsible. Yeah, okay, I won't do anything as far as taking you to court or proving the fact that maybe you did sign up for this responsibility. Yeah, you can just go ahead on about your life. I find it to be very hypocritical that you would allow that woman that you were with, that I'm pretty sure you went through this whole process with, to just kind of abandon you and leave you and go after the man that again was doing you a favor that is by law not obligated to take care of your child. You know, you're going to go after him versus her when she had more of a, a, a loyalty and devotion to you than this stranger that was merely just helping you out. Come on, y'all. We got to do better. But nonetheless, I do feel like this video here. Um, it's a huge eye opener as far as us women needing to be a lot more thought out, a lot more responsible when it comes to the decisions that we make, when it comes to the people that we allow to be a part of our lives. Stop blaming everything on the men. Stop thinking that ditching the men will solve your problems when ultimately, ma'ams, you are the problem. The problem is you. You don't know how to do the thorough investigating as far as the people that you choose to be a part of your life. You have not done the internal work the self-reflecting on yourself to see what is it about you that allows certain individuals to be a part of your life, you know, that accepts irresponsible people to be a part of your life. Stop thinking that getting rid of the men is going to solve the issue. It is not. When the issue is you, the issue is you, ma'ams, okay? So no matter what you do, there you will be because ultimately you are the problem that needs to be solved. You are the one that needs to get her life together. Stop thinking that if you just ditch the men or if you go to an alternative lifestyle or you just, you know, opt out altogether that your problems will be solved when you still have not taken the step to look at yourself, analyze what's going on with you, and then making the proper adjustments and changes there. Okay, we got to do that, ladies. If we don't, we're going to continue to fall down the same rabbit holes and it's going to lead us to nowhere. Okay, now again, this video, in my opinion, really illustrates how us as women need to stop blaming the men for everything and do the self work, take accountability, take responsibility. All right, all right. But I would love to know you all's feedback on this. Do you think that it's fair for sperm donors to essentially just splash and dash with no questions asked? Or do you feel like, hey, you know, yeah, they, they should. They should be able to be held responsible for other people's life choices and lifestyle and decisions to go out and start their own families. I don't know. Y'all let me know how I feel about that. Um, do you feel like she is well within her rights to go out and seek financial support from the sperm donor? Y'all let me know, okay? I gave y'all my, my feedback and my thoughts. I look forward to seeing what y'all got to say. 
But again, ladies, stop blaming the men for everything. This is clearly not on them and all on you. So, I don't know. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you disagree. Y'all let me know. All right. Much love and peace to my crown heads. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. We out.